Now we have Professor Meher Fouad Ramzi, Professor of uh, Renal Medicine, Cairo University, President of Transplantation Chapter of ESNT, Board Member of ISN, Past President of AFRAN, Board Member of the Egyptian Medical Society. Welcome, Dr. Meher. Welcome, Dr. Meher. Dr. Meher, can you please tell us what's new in the field of nephrology and transplantation in 2018? In, in, in fact, the advances of nephrology as the renal diseases is more or less limited as it is still restricted in methods of diagnosis and the diagnosis is limited to the lab. For example, we have, are lacking in diagnosis of kidney disease because the limited experience or the limited, or in other words, the limited number of electron microscope studies. It present in one or two places all over Egypt. And now, the tendency to diagnose renal diseases when we do renal biopsy, we need electrical microscopy to give more details to help us in putting the proper diagnosis and treatment. Thus, in nephrology as a cold, we say it cold nephrology, that is the diagnosis of renal diseases is limited to renal biopsy and it's a study that need to be upgraded, refreshed more uh, uh, people have to do more studies, thus it will help the physician to treat this patient. This is a cold nephrology. Regarding the dialysis activities, there is advances in the machines. But apart from the advances in the dialysis machines, the treatment is more or less limited and nearly the same. The patient go to dialysis with different machines, different alarm system, different uh, uh, procedures, but it is really the same principle with little improvement at the expense of higher prices. In transplantation, the advances are great because more drugs are invented, and this is the monopoly. And the more procedures are now invented to treat rejection. And the more protocols are now invented. When to add this drug, when to omit this drug, and what is the best combination. And moreover, the tendency is to make a stratification, that is classification of the transplant patients according to the risk grading who minimal risk, moderate risk, severe risk. And how to approach each sector with the different therapeutic modalities and different drugs. This stratification is very helpful because it saves save a lot of money, a lot of effort, and let the patient escape a lot of complication because over immune suppressing patients lead to a lot of infection and the malignancies. If the patient is one of the low risk, no need to give him heavy doses. Minimize, small as possible, and the least possible. High risk, there is many procedures. We carry the risk of the infection and the malignancy for the sake of a better graft survival and to avoid rejection. Thus, in conclusion, the advances in transplantation actually exceeded the advances in dialysis and in nephrology. We need more experts, more uh, microscopic studies, immunofluorescence or electron microscopy to give us a deep insight in the arena diseases and consequently physician can change their policy in diagnosis and treatment. Thank you very much.